In this video, we'll see how to connect Power BI Desktop to OBIEE reports using import. BI Connector provides two different approaches for connecting Power BI to OBIEE, direct query and import. If your OBIEE report queries are reasonably fast and you are looking to avoid importing a large volume of OBIEE data into Power BI, you should use the direct query approach. Please refer to our tutorial on this option. But if your OBIEE report queries are performing slowly and you're looking to use Power BI's in-memory database for faster visualization, then you should use the import option. To get started, you need to have BI Connector Desktop installed on your PC. If you haven't installed BI Connector yet, please go to biconnector.com, download BI Connector Desktop Edition, and install it on your PC. You also need to have created an ODBC DSN for OBIEE reports. Please refer to our tutorials on configuring ODBC DSN. I've launched Power BI Desktop and I'll click Get Data. I'll find BI Connector on this list and click Connect. If you've upgraded BI Connector from a previous version, you may see a message about BI Connector not being certified. Click OK to adjust security settings. BI Connector has already been certified by Microsoft and is already added to the list of certified connectors. But in the meantime, here's how to fix this. Go to File, Options and Settings, Options. Under Global, click Security and choose to allow any extensions to load without warning. Then click OK and connect to BI Connector again. Now I'll enter the name of the DSN for OBIE reports I set up in my ODBC Data Source Administrator, and I'll click the Import Radio button. At this point, if you see a message about not connecting because there is no corresponding ODBC driver, this means that you haven't yet installed BI Connector Desktop Edition. Again, you can get this software at biconnector.com. After installing BI Connector, create the ODBC DSN for OBIE reports, then try again to connect to the DSN from Power BI. The next step is to enter my OBIEE username and password, then click Connect. Now in the navigator, I can highlight any report to preview it on the right, and I'll click the report to select it. If my report data is small, say less than 50,000 rows, I could click Load and Continue. But for larger reports, it's good practice to add filters to the report before loading the data. I'll click Edit to add filters to the report. This opens the Power Query Editor, where I can preview the report data. Say I want to filter the report to include only data from Germany in April 1997. I'll first click the arrow in the Country Column header. On this list, I'll click Select All to clear the selection, then I'll select only Germany. After clicking OK, my report now shows only data from Germany. Next, I'll filter the month the same way clicking the arrow in the Kanman header, clearing the list, and selecting April 1997. Now that the report is filtered as I wanted, I'll click Close and Apply. Now the report data is imported into Power BI and appears as a table in the Fields panel on the right. I can now drag columns from fields to visualize data. I'll start with Category Name, then I'll add Contact Name, Quantity, and Sales Revenue. The default visualization is a table, but I can select from other visualization options, such as Stacked Bar Chart or Tree Map. I can also add more filters to the report data I've already imported into Power BI. For example, I'll expand the Category Name filter and select Beverages, Condiments, and Confections. Now the report shows only those categories. There are many more visualizations I could create, or I could combine this OBIEE data with other data sets.